was an old Eggman, lucky seven, electric guitar, turquoise and black, that Kevin Kane had slung round his neck that Sunday afternoon in Connolly's tough shed in Churchview, Joe. One end of the guitar lead was plugged into Kevin's guitar, the other end into Noel Connolly's big, beautiful, semi-acoustic half null bass guitar that he just bought from Fancy Flynn. Kevin put his fingers on the strings and went. Baby used to stay out all night long. She made me cry and done along because I used to love her. We were gonna start a band, and this was the first music we had made. We didn't have any amplifiers or drum kit. I had bought a pair of drumsticks for McMahon, a selectrical and shop stick, four shillings and sixpence, and I battled holes in the fabric of the family sofa, drumming along to the songs on the radio. And your life is filled with such confusion That galloping Motown rhythm was my favourite Reach out, I'll be there by the four tops And the green, green glass of home By Tom Jones within the charts that Christmas 1965 We spent a lot of time talking about forming a band sitting around a table in the chip shop discussing what kind of music we were going to play Beat groups, the Beatles, the Stones were in the charts and on the radio with the musicians that we knew and admired played in the local show bands they put on their stage suits and played for the dancers By February, Kevin, Noel and I were gathering in Cain sitting on them on the Galway Road Going over and over the few songs we were learning how to play The Hucklebuck, I ran all the way home Now that I found you, I'll be counting on you To love me forever Cause I need Suddenly the door to the sitting room burst open And there stood the monumental Frankie Cowell Future Lama, electric guitar in one hand, El Pico amplifier with the other. Frankie and Noel were natural musicians and they'd been classmates of mine in the Christian Brothers School. Kevin was a couple of years older. He was already famous for his performance at the Paul Golden Show in the Audience, where he'd been hypnotized into believing that he was Elvis Presley and the quiet, unassuming young man was transformed to a rock and roll and weather. Kevin's older brother, Jarlett, was involved in the music business and he was able to organize for us to go and play a few songs at the Chariot Wheel where the bandits show band played every Monday night. The moment arrived. Sat behind Paddy Cullen's drum kit and put my feet on the pedals. I was so nervous. My legs were trembling, and before we started to play at all, the bass drum was gone like a kangaroo hammer. But we settled down and played a few songs to an audience of professional musicians and their friends. Should they told us we were great? And we walked out of there and up to the square. Bit of a high. I'm in a band, I'm in a band, I'm in a band, I'm in a band, I'm in a band. I'm in a band.